Hello once again, friends. Bill McCabe here, and uh, uh, we're continuing our little discourse on cane concepts and, and techniques. And what we're going to look at uh, uh, today is uh, step two in the process of getting acquainted with the cane. Excuse me one second. Uh, if you have to head out, go ahead and just go on out, sir. Uh, we talked about the basic cane flow previously. We're going to finish up with the cane flow. And then we're going to go off into a five strike pattern, which is pretty uh, uh, essential information for what you have to do with the cane. So in the previous uh, video, you saw that we worked this flow. You want to be able to develop the ability to pass out of the flow across the body into your opposing hand. Now the key to this is, is this. You don't reach for the cane because you're never going to get it. You have to feed it to your hand. See how I'm doing that? You feed it to the hand, and this is going up right beside my head, and then it catches the cane. It goes over the arc, goes underneath, and feeds. Okay, I stop it, I capture it with the feed and bring it over to the other side and capture it. Okay, so as you're doing things, uh, we're here, now watch. I feed it, bring it to the other side, capture it. You can, I want you to see how quick uh, and uh, sophisticated this can be when you're in the middle of a fight. Uh, say the cameraman is moving on me as he's moving, this just goes right into the attack, right into his body. It just whips. And because it's already spring-loaded on the back, it's a hard hit. And I go to this side. Now, let's just say he continues into me. I hit. And as I hit, I roll the neck of the cane over. And I'm going right behind the camera as I do this. And I pull him down into my knee. And you can actually see that in the camera because I moved the camera to do that. That's why these are essential moves. You have to be able to get these so that you do these quick captures and changes of direction when you need to do that. On this side of the body, same thing. You can hit and capture. Or you can spring load and whip down, change directions, and capture again all just using all the uh, uh, characteristics of the cane to your tactical advantage. Now, I want to talk uh, for a moment about an underlying pattern here that's common in, in uh, uh, bladed weapon systems and uh, sword systems and in all middle stick size systems. It's called the five strike pattern. Now, the fundamental five strike pattern takes this form. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so uh, I'm going to ask uh, Jeff Jensen here to execute them. If I'm standing still and he executes the five strike pattern, you can sort of see where the angularity leads. One, two, three, four, and then five. Okay, now he goes back. Say he comes at me with the technique. Doesn't matter what it is. You see, one. There's the inherent angularity of the five strike pattern. Now, I hit that. Say he doesn't move. The second one coming down is at open target. He steps forward. Three. And four. And five. In target area or the reflex or exposed targets. And you also have, of course, the very vulnerable other targets of the body. Thank you, sir. So the one, two, three, four, five. Now five can be stepping forward to your foot. Five can also be an overhead. Okay, one, two, 
three, four, five. A lot of times folks that see this will ask me a question. They will say, do I have to do it exactly like that every time? And the answer is no. This is the basic format, and this is how it's taught and transmitted when one person teaches it to another. But once you learn it, you vary it any number of ways that you can come up with and build it into an entire system of five strike flows. So as an example, I can go one, two, three, four, five. Okay, or I can go one, two, three, four, five. I think you get the idea. It's however you want to employ it or engage it in the moment. Make that your improvised flow. Now, an important counterpart to the five strike sequence is the five strike sequence modified to accommodate horizontal cuts or slashes. So, same five strike pattern, one, one, Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now, in the old days, uh, in the great Northwest, people would call this pattern uh, bando y bando. We just call it the horizontal five strike pattern or horizontal synchro tiros uh, because of the inherent nature of the sequence. Okay, so that's a variation. Now what's the value of this? So let's just say that the cameraman here is attacker number one and you're in this position. And uh, you're attacker number two, so you're going to put your cane down if you will. Okay, and I'm responding to an attack over here. And then uh, Jeff comes in from the side and I do the horizontal rake building across. And you can see the, the efficiency of that. I'm cutting here and I sense his movement. He comes and I go across. And you can actually see you know, just how devastating a hit that would be. I have the option of going back a second time. If I want, I'll watch. The next target is the low target, which I've just taken the high targets here. And then I can go back one more to the high if I choose to do so, or I can take another joint or another part of his body. It just sort of depends on what the setup or what the flow requires. But what I want you to get here is you're working in a flow, which is what we've already taught you. You cut to a five strike pattern and you transition to another five strike pattern, all without breaking your flow or your tactical movement. So there's a whole lot here. There's a whole lot that's involved in how this works and how efficient it is. Uh, the only way you acquire any familiarity with this is to play with it and explore it, uh, preferably uh, alongside someone who can guide you through this, who's got more experience than you have, and uh, certainly under the guidance of your teacher uh, when doing it at school uh, and working with other people. You want to make sure you're emphasizing safety. So there you've got something else to work with. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, take it down the line a little bit, and we'll come back before very long with some other techniques. Uh, apart from that, you know, enjoy life, do well, stay good, and be healthy, and uh, make the world a better place. We'll see you later.